Now, the scanning is controlled by what's called an RC circuit. R stands for resistors, and C stands for capacitors. And you can see a lot of the capacitors here, and you can even see some of the resistors. Here's some more capacitors, and there's some more resistors in here. Now, a resistor is in charge of managing voltage and current, while a capacitor is in charge of storing this energy. Put them together, however, and you have a timing circuit. This is very important to the operation of a TV because there's so many lines that have to get scanned so quickly that it takes a high degree of control. Tau is known as a time constant, which means that it is a particular point in time. Now, if time is measured in seconds, then tau must also have units of seconds. So the units of tau are in seconds. And this is pronounced T-A-O, tau. All right, well, let's see what tau has. Okay, what effect it has on here. Well, tau is a time. It's a point in time. Well, if we let, let's just consider for both the, let's consider the charge and the current and see how tau affects the charge. What's that got to do? Well, if we put RC right in here. So what that means is let's consider, let's consider time T equals tau. Time T equals tau, which is to say RC. Okay, so if we put RC right in here. Now, RC, mind you, will vary, but we're just doing this generically, symbolically, if you will. Okay, so if we put RC right up here, you've got RC divided by RC. Well, that's one. Okay, so we're talking about QT for charging for this guy right here, Q of T equal to Q times one minus E to the negative one. Well, E is a base of the natural logarithm, and you can find that it's a, it's a key on your calculator. If you were to solve out this much of it mathematically, you would end up with the charge, okay, at time t equals tau equals rc, okay? This is, this is the, the, the charge at this given time. You will end up with a value of 0.632q, okay? You will end up with, let me make sure I get my numbers right, it's 0.632q. That's if you take 1 minus e to the negative 1. Okay, that's where the point 632 comes from. All right. Well, what that means is, and I'll write this out in just a moment, but let me just focus on it for the, for the time being here. What this means is at one time constant, rc, at, ta, at, at time tau equals rc, the capacitor will be 63.2% charged. 63.2% charged. Now, back here, which, you know, we're looking at roughly, I don't know, roughly two-thirds, roughly, okay? But we can end up, whoa, we can end up drawing this and say that this right here is tau, and this point right here is 0.632q. We can see that at, at, tau, at time tau equals RC, that it's not fully charged. It's actually only about two-thirds charged, so 63.2% Q. Okay, well, what does that mean for the current then? Well, if we let tau equal RC again and put RC into here, e to the negative 1, then we'll consider, we'll consider it right here, okay, the current at time T equals tau equals rc, okay, we'll end up with e over r times e to the negative 1, okay? If you were to take 1 divided by e, you would end up with, you would end up with 0.368 e over r. This would be your current at this time, okay, at this time. So we're looking at roughly a third. We're looking at roughly a third of the time, okay, or the, the current. The current has dropped then about a third 
as much as its, its total value. So a third, somewhere right in here. So this is where one tau or one time constant is, 0.368 E over R. What this means is, at this particular time, the capacitor, rather the current in the circuit with the capacitor, is only operating with about 36.8% of the original current. Okay, so that's what it looks like when it is charging. Okay, this concept of tau, we're in a realm that is really challenging right now. Okay, we, we understand Kirchhoff's rules. We understand the operation of a capacitor. We understand the operation of a resistor. We understand how we can put all these in, in series and what that means with an EMF, a power supply. But what generally happens is when we get to this point and I say, you know, we're a little bit out of our league on mathematics to get these, that automatically downgrades or seems to make it more, more challenging to understand these concepts right here, these two expressions. Well, what I'm trying to focus on is your understanding that as a, when a capacitor is in a circuit, it takes time to charge it and it takes time to discharge it. And when it's charging, the current does not remain constant nor does the charge on the capacitor remain constant. And so these expressions merely communicate what's going on. Now, in comes this innocuous letter, tau. What the heck does that mean? Okay, tau equals RC. I mean, that's a, time should be in second. Okay, three seconds, what happens? Well, I'm saying now tau. What, what's he talking about? Well, what I'm trying to communicate here is a means of distinguishing between different combinations of resistance and capacitance inside a circuit, okay? And that will change. These letters right here, tau, all this is is a unit in time described by the resistance and the capacitor that was chosen for the circuit, and this is what it means, okay? Now let's take our information and put that into some verbiage. Let's make some words out of it. Let's interpret what we're seeing here, okay? so. Um, when you're charging at one time constant, just at this particular point of time, it means you're 63.2% charged. And at that same time constant, it means that the current in the circuit has gone down to 36.8%, or rather gone down by 36.8% of its total current. And so at that amount of time, that's what we are trying to get to. Okay, so let's wrap this and take this understanding into a, a concept rather than some silly old symbols.